So basically, as you can see, there are these elemental colors throughout the corners. If we were to uh, sphere change or dress uh, sphere change during a battle by going through one of those, we'll get the um, corresponding effect. For example, if we were to go through uh, <laughs> those two, if we were to switch from the warrior to the dress to the uh, songstress, we'll get a plus five to strength. Having equipped innately gives us a plus five to strength and magic just in general. That's how that works. Let's just keep going. I can't skip. Oh, yeah, I can. Alright. It's actually a really good Garma Grid, too. Alright. Red and green. Okay. Put that in the center so we can have that to go to. Let's equip it. Make our gunner. Thief. And warrior. There we go. Okay. I know. Creature creator. This is where we want to be in. Um, no, I remember what to do. <laughs> Tripod S, medium, and large. Good. Okay, so, we can choose, or not that. Uh, where is it? Trap creature, here it is. <clears throat> we can choose anywhere on the map to uh, set down one of the pods. A small pod will capture a small creature, a medium pod will capture a medium creature, or small. And a large pod can capture anywhere from a large creature to a small creature. Um, certain monsters will only appear in certain areas and after certain events occur. Uh, for example, there is a boss on one of these islands, or one of these locations, I should say, not islands. Well, they're all technically islands, aren't they? Yeah, kinda. There is a boss in one of these areas that, after defeating it, you can capture and use to evolve into something else later on. Uh, you do that by going into Develop Creature, going to Creatures, selecting the creature you want, give an item, and he will, I think he will evolve. Oh, he'll use it. He'll learn a new ability. Yes, why not? So now he knows life. But, if we, where was it? If we did something, I can't remember how to do it. Which area was it? Basically, if we do certain things, we can evolve them into certain things, out of certain things. Like the, the enemy I mentioned earlier, the boss enemy, if we level it up properly, we can actually evolve it into Ifrit, pretty much. Which is kind of cool. Alright. That's done. That's said and done. Let's keep going. Is there... Oh, right, there isn't. I couldn't remember... I... Oh, I remember now. There's a location where we can find out what our completionist percentage. Alright. We're going to head to the elevator room now. Oop. I always do that. Engine room. Here we'll find some items. Which will be useful. Come on. There we go. Open up. Ether. Some Phoenix Downs. Potions. And Remedies. Awesome. Whoop. Alright, so that's it in that. 
Now we're heading to the cabin. Alright. So we'll talk to... Bucky! Mishu, now what can I do for you? Our barkeep's a Hypella. No one knows his real name, so everyone just calls him Barkeep. Brother took him in, and now he works aboard the airship. Okay. Uh, gold store? Bye! Let's get some... Ooh. What have we done? Yeah. Sleep, silence, darkness, poison. Eh, we're good. I'm gonna buy one of these. Okay. Now. Thank you. No problem. Every what can I chapter. Ensure that you sleep inside of the cabin. If you don't, you'll miss out on a very rare, powerful dress sphere. And 100 percent So sleep. Sleep tight. Alright. So it's usually best every chapter, because it's separated into I think like eight chapters or so. Always come up here and just sleep. I know I can drop down. Can I do it yet? Oh, I can't do it yet. Oh, there we go. Hold circle while running towards it. Gullwings! Report to the bridge! Okay. Bridge. Deck takes us onto the deck of the ship. You know, the actual top of it. Outside. We don't want that. Alright. Hold circle, jump. Treasure sphere waves. They're coming from those ruins they found at Gagazet. All right. Gagazet. All right, and here we get to see everything. Okay. Sacred Mount Gagazet, silent guardian of Xanarkin. City of the dead. When the faith disappeared, the clouds enshrouding the mountain began to thin and disperse, revealing long forgotten ruins among its peaks. <gasps> hey, the racks are floating! Don't tell me we gotta climb up that thing! No worries, I'll take you to the top. a little close. A little? Come in! We're here. Everything's fine now. No. Keep an eye on Rico. You got it. All right, then. <laughs> Disasterific. I love that word, though. And here we learn about uh, basically just jumping. Hold circle and run. Climb up, do the same thing. We don't always want to jump though because there might be something down below. Now, I don't really remember if this verticality actually is a thing in the game throughout the most of the game. But, uh, 
Doesn't have to, you know, know about it, I guess. Oh, we're not getting across this way. Let's find another route. All right, now we go. Obligatory save. There we are. All right, down we go. A dead end. Just great. Think this machina still works? Terrific. Disasterific. I am on my way. What about me? Poor Riku. Doesn't get the respect she, she deserves from her own brother. Do, do, do. Go over here, come up here. Come on, climb. There you go, Yuna. Do this. Look, sir. Wunderbar. Oh, first actual fight. Oh, the bomb. Ugh. Review. Okay, let's stun like you a little bit. Oh boy. Ouchies. Alright, it's getting bigger. There we go. I love these little animated cutscenes too. So nice. Anything down here? Nope. So yeah, according to this game, these these ruins were always up here in Final Fantasy X. Always. It would be kind of cool if you actually could climb up here through no clipping or something and find out they actually are up here. Remember that name well, loves. Ah, the thief. Whatever do you mean? Ugh, that's what I hate about amateurs. Maybe she'll go away if we ignore her. You, I heard that. Just as I was saying, amateurs, they have no concept of what it takes to be a true sphere hunter. Amateurs, weren't you following us? Following? <laughs> a mere coincidence. You was right, boss, as always. Indeed, following them has paid off splendidly. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh while you can. Them again? Yeah, they're basically the comedy. Okay. Uh, new stuff on these guys. LeBlanc has 120 HP. You steal Tiara. Logos has 100 HP and you steal a white cape. Army has 130, but he still has an iron bangle. Okay. Or me. Alright. Got the thing. Logos. Yoink. Like it. Bang. Good of you. And steal from a block. Do I just get steals? There's no. Miss chance? Love that. It's kinda cool if that's the case, but. Oh, he's hasted now. Lovely. Fair warning, though, by the way. This is actually kind of important. Um, if you do kill an enemy while uh, one of your characters is uh, about to attack them, they will change their target to attack someone else. 
However, if they are in uh, mid-swing of their attack, they will uh, miss. You'll lose that turn, which kind of sucks. But it is nice that they autocorrect. Come on, buddy. Bam. Terrapi. It's also a trophy, which I've yet to get, which is to chain a 99 hit combo. Obviously, it involves a uh, use of a gunner to get it. And this is the thanks I get for going easy on you. think she is <laughs> she's getting hurt yeah <coughs> okay our goal is to well in case you have these missions pop up too beat something get to the top but watch out there's no telling what they'll do to stop you objective be the first to the top of the ruins fortunately uh, we have six minutes to get up there, and fortunately, there's no timer de de uh, no timer uh, runs when you're in battle or when you are in menu. So you can heal and you can uh, fight battles to your heart's content. However, collecting all the items is a bad idea because it wastes time. We can come back here later on if we need to to get the items. I think so, anyway. You look a tad flushed. Why not stop to catch your... Whoops. Did not mean to do that. May have screwed up my thing. I may just uh, reload just because, just because I actually skipped that. Later on. I was like a pop shot, which is nice. A delay. Okay. Abilities, Yuna. Gunner. Uh, yeah, let's keep playing Cheap Shot. Um, for a strike, so she will start the battles right away. Um, there's no reason not to learn the brands. So yeah, let's just keep her learning the brands. Yeah, I may have uh, screwed up because I skipped his dialogue. It's that easy to screw this up. Well, well. Nope. Kill the recoil. There we are. I love these girls. So strong. Oh, you know how I hate the damp. Sorry, boss. Well, if I have any say in the matter, I'll block your rude. Rude, I say. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we can come back up here. Oh, hi. The, stu the uh, rules from uh, Final Fantasy X still do apply, though. Um, Yuna, as a ranged fighter, has better damage against uh, aerial enemies. Riku is good against quick enemies. Warrior is good against, um, I think, ha armored enemies. Let's show the ladies a nice, warm welcome. Um, not necessarily on that, though. And maybe um, she's stronger against uh, the quick enemies, because when Yuna has the uh, that dress very equipped, she's um, very reminiscent, reminiscent of Tidus. So it may be uh, quicker enemies like uh, coyotes and whatnot. 
I do believe we do get a uh, heavy warrior later on. All right then. Come on, going. All right, we're good. Whoop. Every time. Would, would you would you stop staring? <laughs> Cute. They uh got greedy and tripped. I'm gonna save here just in case. I'm gonna reload that previous save file and uh, go through this entire thing again, just to be safe. The uh, muscle belt, by the way, which is what we're going to get, is only available if you win the race. Yoink. Which we're going to equip to uh, Pain, of course. There you go, girl. I wasn't upwards. Hey, big boy. This is Boris. Okay, Boris is actually kind of interesting. Okay, so there's an interesting mechanic in this game called Oversold. I'm not sure how to trigger it, but basically, it uh, whenever an enemy becomes Oversold, they're basically a much stronger version of that uh, form. For example, Boris here. Innately has 480 HP. Uh, he also has an agility of 95 and strength of 16. Oversold, he has 804 HP, uh, 18 damage strength, and 124 agility. Now, what's cool though is Oversold, Oversold variants have um, different gear to gain from them. Boris in this form has remedies you can steal or Star Pendant drop. The Oversword variant has a Kinesis bang a badge you can get, and still a Star Pendant. Um, yeah, but he's a lot stronger. Alright then, let's do this. We're gonna steal. Sword play. Let's break anything. Oh yeah, what are you weak against, Boris? He has an elemental weakness to fire and ice. <laughs> so glad I learned Flame Tongue. I love the, the, the words they say sometimes. Flame Tongue. Like sometimes um, they'll, they'll say little things before casting their spell or ability. Like um, when we get the Black Mage uh, Dress Sphere. Sometimes they'll say uh, little enchantments to cast their spells. It's kind of cool. Found it. It's obvious to the trained eye that spear's just a dud. Perfect for the dull wings. <laughs> Youth wins again. Well, I guess we'll be taking this. The sass on Riku. <laughs> Youth wins again. Oh, horrible. But we got the spear, though. And fairy earrings. Cool. 
Let's get out of here. Brother, mission complete. Brother, he's not with you. Oh yeah, kind of important. Never skip this cutscene, by the way. I've been told that it also affects the uh, completion, so just let it play through. He said something about Yuna being in trouble, then he just jumped ship. And here he is. He's alive, right? Just leave him there. Can you analyze the sphere we found? I'm on it. Alright, we're gonna comfort we're gonna comfort him. Come here, buddy. You okay? Thank you, brother. Uh, it was uh, Nothing. Don't strain yourself. Oh. Uh, leader must be tough. Sicko! Uh, 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 oh, you know, you're still so so naive. Uh, All right. Obligatory save. We should also be at around 6% completion. If not, we messed up in the beginning. Hey, Shinra. Analysis complete. Wanna watch the sphere? I-I-I can't believe I actually got a ticket! What a thrill to be able to shake her hand like that! Think it's worth anything? It's not very exciting. Junk. But we can use it as a dress sphere. Woo! Incoming data. Goings to your stations. Hey, how long you plan on lying there? What is it? The treasure sphere data you've been dying for. There's at least one on Besaid Island. And another in the Xanarkin ruins. So, where to? Okay, so the cool thing about this game is... It's mostly up to us how we want to play it. Uh, we can go to the hotspots, which are storyline events, or we can go to wherever we want to. Uh, hotspots appear as complete missions, and Buddy collects data from throughout Spera. Spoiling so hotspots unlocks new missions and new episodes, placing you in charge of what direction the story will ultimately take. Alright, 6%. Before I leave, uh, to about the mission select menu. Uh huh? Hot spots are where we got scoops or where, where we need to go. We also check out the uh, difficulty of how hard the mission is going to be. I believe that changes depending on our level and our uh, setup. Now I know the last set I mentioned that um, I don't like um, buffing out my characters through uh, strength boosts and stuff like that to get max stats. I like to actually use um, equipment to do that with. This is one of the few games I've actually been able to max out my stats on quite a few of my uh, stats. Not sure all of them. Just by uh, level and 
certain equipments because there's no boosts apart from accessories and let your level. So it's kind of cool. So to finish the game or to finish the storyline, let's see here. Other than that, there are missions to do in Besaid, Kilika, and Xanarkin. You can see it. If you want to get directly into the meat of the game, however, it's highly recommended that we go everywhere else first. Basically, if we see hotspots, those are the last things we're going to do. <laughs> so, we're going to return to the bridge, and that's going to be it for this set, though. Because, we've been going on for long enough. And I like to have my sets about an hour or so along. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next week. We'll continue on from here. Um, don't worry about the mysterious sphere. The one I mentioned that was in the uh, Eternal Calm. We will be seeing that sphere later on. So, I'll see you guys next week. We'll continue on from here. Until then, hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.